Okay, y'all, I lost my earring on looking for a mess. And, but I just had to get this video in because actually I didn't really want to do this for a long time. And I didn't really, really want to do this video. So here it goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about weight. I'm gonna be talking about weight between, uh, you know, the struggles of being, you know, smaller and bigger. And I'm gonna tell you our struggle is the same. That is what this commentary is gonna be about, okay? Now, of course, all my life I've been skinny men. Ain't no, ain't, ain't, that ain't no secret. As far as my mental health with that, I don't mean I don't want, I don't want to be this skinny. And I know people that is a little bit, you know, bigger don't want to be their size either. That's what we got in common. Okay. You got high metabolism, you got low metabolism. A person with low metabolism can keep more weight on them. A person with high metabolism tends not to. Okay. Now, let's go into being underweight and overweight. I'm considered to be underweight. I have always been underweight all my life. And it's a struggle with buying clothes. It, like, it's a struggle when a person that is a little bit plus size or overweight, you know what I mean? It's a struggle with with them going to the store. Do you see what I'm saying? We both, underweight people, overweight people, both got to go into these stores, find the right clothes to make, you know, to make it, make things, you know, come together. As far as with a skinny person, we like to, you know, Compliment our shape. The um, the plus size would like to compliment their shape. They might have to worry about certain things uh, they don't want to show that need to be covered, things being tight, and and one thing comfortable. Now, with the thing with the underweight person is we don't want to look swallowed up. We don't want we don't want to look like a hanger, like you know, hey, look at this. Look at that uniform right there walking. You know, we go to certain stores and stick with certain stores because we know and stick with certain brands because we know this is going to come in our body. Same as the old way person. But, well, okay. Like I said, five, okay, five months ago, I was 162. And now I'm 140. And... So I'm really underweight because I'm 6'2". I'm supposed to be anywhere between 200, 200, and 20 pounds. You know what I'm saying? It's a struggle. And now I got to be on like, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to do this double portion diet. Same as a person that's a little bit overweight. They would have to go on a diet. Um, y'all, it's just, I'm just tired of, of, America trying to say this is how you're supposed to look or you can't you're going to get made fun of because you don't look this certain way and you're you you know or you can't be around us um, or you can't you're not going to be in our clip you know what I mean because of your size and stuff like that like uh, and, I, and I'm really just trying to do this video because I'm, I'm just really trying to tell people and let people know and I want to see if y'all agree with me. People that's underweight and people that's overweight, our struggles are still the same. And, and a, but it's different, but we're one the same. But like, a lot of people don't even know that I'm underweight because, yeah, quote unquote, um, I have the idea of weight. But let me chime in to, let's go back to the comparison. Okay. Now, Monique wrote a book. Many years ago, ten plus years ago, was any bitches is evil. But you know what? Thick bitches is too. And by me saying that, uh, because when I say big, I'm talking about them evil, evil people that is plus size. And why I'm saying that because they throw shade. Like when I went to parties in different places or whatever, people just, uh, you know, the person is, you know, a little bit larger than me. They are. The women. And they didn't want to get to know me because they thought that 
I was the ideal way, which I was insecure about my way. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go off into that, y'all. I'm I'm just about I'm just about insecure as my way as an overweight person, you know. And I feel as if at the end of the day, our risks are the same medically as um, far as underweight and being overweight. By me saying that, if I, why I'm trying to, I just started that, y'all, uh, on the double portion that, and I'm really trying to stick to it, but I'm the type of person I don't like, I forget to eat because I move around so much. I'm active, but at the same time, I, and plus, I like healthy food, too. Don't get it twisted. I, I, I can eat healthy. That, that has never been a problem with me because I like my, my fruit, my vegetables. I like my bad stuff too. But since I'm skinny, I don't really have to worry about that. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry, but don't mean you have to act negative, neg negative to, towards me just because I'm a little bit skinny. Because truth be told, I want some of your way. Really. So, but, um, I'm on this double portion diet and it's really kind of hard for me to stick to it because I don't, I just don't like to feel that, you know, being miserable. You know, when you eat so much, you feel miserable. The only thing you want to do is lay down and go to sleep. And that's why you don't really eat that much at work or, or, or at school or what have you. Cause you already know what the love's going to be. Okay. That's fine for me. I might do that on Thanksgiving or Christmas cause I know I'm going to lay around the house. You know what I mean? But let's say, and I hate that. I, I just hate that society. You know, I can't say that, um, I, I, I can never feel, I'm not saying that I can feel how it is to be a weak way. It was times that I got, now it was some times that I wasn't, I wasn't underweight, but I was my, my size when I went to the pen, the prison, make shit, pump shit, I was eating shit straight from the earth. And I, I got, I got thick, you know what I mean? But that didn't last long as soon as I got out. Here you go. But I was never, I can't tell, I can't tell another, um, a person that's plus size or overweight that I understand what they're going through. Cause I ain't never been that size. But I can't under, I could, can tell you our struggle is the same. And just because of the fact that you get called, you get name called, you know, you, I, I would never know how somebody would view you or how somebody might take you, you know, First, I'll, I'll, I'll person that's mean, or, uh, you know, I don't know how people get dirty looks to big people, but you know, I don't know that. But I'm gonna tell you, um, skinny people don't gotta be easy, easy. Because the first thing I get, the first thing, well, even with, when, when I was a child, everybody was like, oh, you so skinny, you, you, you ugly and you skinny. And then when I got into teenage years, you know, I had A. I, I ain't never had a, a STD. Then, when I got grown, the money is smoking crack. I don't get around Romans. Skinny people don't get around Romans either. As far as their size. And I'm just, you know, to, I'm not trying to soften the blow, but just to make a person that's overweight hard a little bit. You, you, I mean, well, not hard. To, to show some sense to them. Everybody that is skinny is not happy with their weight and they're not trying to throw a shade to a person that is, um, be, cause like again I said I would like to wait, and I go through the same struggles. Now just because these bitches that they're starving themselves to be on these magazines stuff like that, there's something wrong with them. It is, and it affects and it affects us all. You know, underweight and overweight, it affects us mentally. It do. In America, and for people out there that's doing that, they need to stop it. Because my thing is, is that I don't consider a person that is, um big until they breathing out hard or they get uncomfortable with themselves if they're always talking about their weight or they throw jokes and they talk about themselves you you know and joke around with themselves and group settings and make jokes and shit like that just so nobody else won't say any you know what I'm saying saying anything bad about them and they can take their own they, they can take their own jokes and criticism I don't like that either because clearly your weight is a problem to you. So, I mean, it just, it just fucked up. And then, let me speak on it medically. And this is what I have known about being overweight from what I gather from overweight and being underweight. 
when I went to, you know, I was trying to be a nurse. This is what we suffer. Underweight and overweight people suffer the same result. If I don't grab a hold no weight no time soon, it's going to affect my heart. I can have a heart attack. I can have heart failure. I can have cardiac arrest. The same as the same damn thing as a person that has weight on them. I can have a stroke. Okay. By you being skinny, honey. Yes, I'm talking to you. All this can affect you. You can have a stroke. Here it is. I have high blood pressure. I got high cholesterol. The same as with an overweight person. So, you know, this secret underlying beef that skinny people got with plus size and vice versa. It needs to it need to it need to be it need to it need to be a truth because I have been you know, I, I have had my fair share of humiliation and insult from you know, large people. I have. And we need to stop that. And I hate that America is trying to you know, come up with this image of the ideal way and how the ideal person is supposed to be. Because a lot of people is not comfortable in their skin. Here it is, my sister, she's on a she's on a diet now because she feel like she's big. But really, you know, she's not. But it, for as far as her size, you know, mentally, it says like she's overweight. So here it is, I'm learning. I'm learning. It's a learning process with us because of I'm on a diet and she's on a diet. And we are absolutely going through the same thing, but it's from two different parallels. It's complete opposite. You 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 know, she's eating healthy, and she be like, "But you 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 want this baked chicken?" I'm like, "Girl, no. I need. I'm trying to eat me some fried chicken. I'm trying to get some double portions going on. You you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get some bread in my life. You know, and." When I cook a little something, some, I you know, it's nothing for me to, you know, because it's changed. It's a lifestyle change. You know, I'm used to cooking for my sister and giving her whatever I cook. And she, you know, vice versa, she eat, eat, eat my shit. And then if she cook, I eat her shit. But we're now in the same household and we cannot eat, even eat each other's food. And we're both on a diet. We're both worried about our health. Hard off. It's the same, y'all. It is absolutely the same. It's the same. Now, just speaking to you from from what I'm going through a living, it's something that I do know from the medical field when I'm in, when I was in school from med with med school. Yeah. So we we both skinny people, underweight people, overweight people got to go to different stores. We cannot wear you 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 know we got to find stuff to hit our bodies. You know what I'm saying? The same. And we get name called on different things. Then we're not comfortable in, in our own skins that, you know, the overweight person say, oh, I wish I can, um, I can have your body. And then the skinny person be like, damn, I wish I can get some of them pounds. It's the same fucking thing. Leave this motherfucking Vogue magazine. Leave these goddamn TV shows, these superstars and all get comfortable in your own skin. But, and then if you want to change, I really want you to change for yourself and for your health reasons. And stop throwing shade at, at just because you did, you and, and you look. It's the same thing as you throwing, I'm throwing shade. I don't like you because you white and a white person throwing shade to me because I don't like you because you black. It's the same thing. We all got to live here and we all got to deal with each other. And then at the end of the day, we got more stuff. A, a, a underweight person and an overweight person got more things in common than they don't have in common. It's the, the size is the only thing that we don't have in common. But we do have to worry about heart condition, stroke, Blood pressure. Death. 
we have to worry about that together. I'm just sorry. It is what it is. And I'm just getting tired of the comparison. You know, a bit, a overweight person get name called. A skinny person get name called. We go to different stores to, to find the clothes. Six different, the same brands and, you know, to complement our bodies and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, we watching TV and, and, you know, social media and just, you know, entertainment shit. And here it is that that's what we're going off on. And that's not right. Bitches being anorexic and bulimia and dying behind it. And here it is, uh, a girl who's getting teased or can't go down and in her thighs, you know what I'm saying? She killed herself. So I'm just saying it's we're one and the same. The only difference is that is our size is just a little bit different. Like I'm telling you, me and my sister, we is doing our damn things with our dad, but it, it's still the same thing. So y'all with that, I hope I didn't offend anyone. I hope people understand where I'm coming from. You know, because I've been wanting to do this video. It's a very important message. You know, when when somebody see me, I never took, I never smoked no crack. I don't have a. You know what I mean? We need to stop that. Bye, and I love y'all. Y'all drop y'all comments below.